Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got a new episode in the Mark 8 Golf R build series and it is testing whether this Forge Motorsport intake hose does or doesn't make power on our in-house Mark 8 Golf R project. But before we jump into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, also notification bell, and you won't miss if our new videos go live. So an intake hose. So let's walk over to the Market Golf R and show you exactly where this is going to be fitted. So you've got the factory airbox just here and then going down here you've got the factory intake hose going down into the turbocharger. And if you're familiar with the Mark 7 um, Golf R platform, this was a really restrictive part, um, largely down to the um, turbo intake elbow down there being hugely restrictive. And on our previous Golf R, um, we fitted a few different hoses and turbo inlet pipe combinations and it made a decent amount of power. So we're going to test this today and this particular part is quoted by Forge is making around 8 horsepower. And the way it does it is, so this silicon intake hose replaces this factory plastic part which is corrugated here so it creates a quite a bit of turbulence. But the biggest difference, probably what we're going to find, is this... Um, aluminium bow mouth which is here so this connects up onto the turbo and that's usually where the biggest restriction is on these particular intakes so we're going to test out this car with the standard intake and um, we're going to turn off the race chip so see how much power it makes um, as it is basically a completely standard car fit the intake hose and see how much power it makes afterwards so we can have a, a good sort of like a good fair test of what it makes before and then what it makes after and see what the power difference is Okay, so we've got the turbo inlet hose, the factory one removed from the car, and we've got the Forge Motorsport one here. And we're just going to talk you through um, some of the differences that we can see. So obviously the factory part, like we said earlier, it's a plastic -gated, corrugated part, or plastic corrugated part rather. And you can see from um, the internal shots, um, the silicon hose is much smoother inside, so that's going to reduce the turbulence. And also the hoses, or, or the Forge Motorsport hose rather, seems to be a bigger diameter the whole way through to the uh, turbo inlet adapter which you've got here. Now the turbo inlet adapter on the Mark 8 Golf R, it doesn't look as restrictive as what it was on the Mark 7s. The Mark 7s was really small but even still Forge have found a way to increase the diameter um, going from the hose to the turbo um, so that's probably going to make a little bit of a difference. And then with the Forge hose you've also got this um, adapter for the factory diverter valve so this isn't a breather it's a diverter valve um, adapter so we'll get that fitted alongside alongside the Forge Motorsport um, Jubilee clips and see how much power we're making um, at the end of the video. Okay, so we finished off doing the run and road testing on the Forge intake hose um, and we're pleased to say it has made a decent amount of power and torque. Um, so we've got the graphs here in front of us. Um, so earlier on in the video we obviously said we're only going to be re-recording it um, when it's standard but actually we put the um, activated the race ship software as well so we can get a comparison between obviously standard standard and um, race chip. Obviously this format's a little bit different to how we usually do it so um, let us know if you like this and we'll do some more 
um, videos like this. But on the um, right hand side, we've got the car um, with the standard software on it. And then over on the left, we've got the car with the race chip on it. So if we talk you through the standard figures first, so standard, the car was making um, about 335 horsepower and um, 448 newton meters of torque. And these are both the peak figures. So um, this is like the blue line at the highest point um, on the horsepower and then the blue line on the highest point with the torque. And then once we have had the um, intake hose fitted, obviously retested the car, and we've gained around about four horsepower and about four um, newton meters at peak. So the peaks are obviously here, they're like the highest point of the graph. But obviously underneath the curve, you can see there's even bigger gains there. So like the difference between this blue line and this red line here is quite significant. And I mean, you're seeing around about an increase of about 14 newton meters through here and about 13 horsepower over here. So it's a decent difference for literally just like 30 minutes from installing um, like an intake hose. So coming over to the left with the race chip, um, it was making um, 367 horsepower and 496 newton meters of torque with the standard intake hose on it. And then once we put the intake hose on it, it somehow lost around about a horsepower. Um, probably um, it's like a negligible sort of gain. It probably made about the same. As you can see, like the um, air temperature is a little bit different. Obviously everything would be a little bit hotter. So you can probably um, sort of like ignore that loss of one horsepower, especially with it making um, a big difference around the rest of the um, graph. And then it's made 508 newton meters of torque. So that's an increase of about eight newton meters of torque, again, um, at the peak, but under the curve, we've seen bigger differences of around 22 newton meters and 12 horsepower. So um, we can definitely say that with the standard Mark, Mark, Mark 8 Golf R, it's made quite a big difference. And then with race ship as well, it's made a difference. So um, as like new ECU software, like proper ECU tunes um, become available for this car, um, like they did with the Mark 7 Golf R, we'll see um, this um, sort of like delta here grow even larger. Um, as sort of like the boost levels are raised, all the other ECU parameters are optimized as well. So yeah, it definitely makes um, a decent amount of power and torque. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to doing some more of these videos. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously, if you enjoyed the video, then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously, you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.